What is up? What's going on, guys? Trizzle here, tuning in, bringing you guys another great three-star tutorial. Uh, this one's a little late in coming, uh, only because it's been around for a little while now, um, at least as far as uh, last year's meta rolling into 2018. Uh, but today, we are going to be going over and breaking down Town Hall 9 Witch Slap. That's right, guys. Uh, you heard it. Witch slap. Um, I don't know. If you're a witch, uh, that might be a little bit uh, racist. Uh, hashtag witches have feelings, too. Um, but without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and get into the, the meat and potatoes, uh, starting with the army version. Uh, on this particular setup, there's actually going to be a couple different variations. So I'm going to go over the first army version along with the second. Um, just because there's a couple different uses and how you would want to uh, apply the different armies. Uh, so with the first version, uh, you're going to be rocking three wall breakers, two wizards, four healers, one golem, ten witches, and of course your CC bowlers. Of course with your spells on version one, it's going to be one heal, one rage, two jumps, one poison, one max skeleton spell, or possibly another poison. Uh, the second version of this particular army, uh, what you're actually doing is going to be bringing more wall breakers and dropping one of the jump spells. So uh, the way it works is going to be five wall breakers, one wizard, four healers, one golem, four witch, excuse me, ten witches, and of course the CC bowlers. Um, and then for your spells, which is the main difference, um, is going to be one heal, two rage, one jump, one poison, and one max skeleton spell. Um, now, of course, as far as tips for success, uh, with this one, you're gonna basically use the two jump version. That works best where the expos aren't really close together. Uh, the function of the jumps is to actually access the, the expos, very important. Uh, the two rage version, however, works best where the expos um, are adjacent or can both be accessed without difficulty with the, the one jump spell. Of course, uh, max Town Hall 9 troops only. This is going to be best used on anti three star bases. Uh, best used on bases that aren't too compact or too spread out. Um, and to three star max bases and more consistently, your heroes are going to have to be a little bit higher, guys. I would say at least level 17, 18 plus. Um, and of course, practice, practice, you know, memorize those raid objectives um, and practice some more. Uh, luckily, this raid isn't too hard in terms of the deployment. Um, but you definitely have to get your heroes up. Um, that's going to lead us into the raid objectives. Uh, starting with the first raid objective, of course, you always want to determine the best side of the base to attack. Um, you want to make sure that the CC can't flank uh, your army. Uh, of course, with the second raid objective, you want to approach from the side of the base so that you can access both expos by the time you use your jump spells. The third raid objective, you're going to deploy four witches and two healers to target them on one corner. And then the fourth raid objective is going to be four witches and two healers to target them as well on the opposite corner. Uh, so that brings us to number five. Uh, deploy your golem in the middle, followed by the last two witches, uh, then the wizard uh, or wizards, depending on which one you're running. Uh, then, of course, the archer queen. Uh, raid objective number six. Watch for the splash damage and deploy your wall breakers in the middle. If the golem is being targeted by a wizard tower, don't release the wall breakers directly in line with the golem. Rather, just have them offset to the side just a little bit. Now, raid objective number seven. Uh, if you're using the two jump version of this, uh, this is actually where you deploy the first jump um, and then you deploy your CC bowlers and the king in the middle. Uh, if you're using the two rage version, uh, what you're going to do, uh, you're going to deploy the CC bowlers and the king, uh, then you're going to drop a, a fairly shallow rage spell um, and then drop your last two wall breakers. Um, and then, of course, that's where you would uh, typically use the, the jump spell to access the core and the expos. Uh, with the eighth raid objective, you're going to deploy a poison spell as the defensive CC troops converge. The ninth raid objective is going to be to deploy the heal spell as you finish the CC troops and as you enter the core. Uh, the 10th raid objective um, is going to depend on which version. With the two jump version, you want to use the last jump to access the second expo or to exit the core. Uh, with the, sec uh, the two raid version, you're going to use that last rage to exit the back end of the core um, and into the back end of the base. 
Um, now, don't forget, uh, you don't want to be too hesitant on using your king ability. Uh, you want to use that to power through the core. Don't hold it back too long uh, so you can get the full effect of the rage. And then with your AQ, of course, use her ability to keep her alive until the end. Um, and then collect your three star. Uh, very, very strong attack. Uh, it's something that works. Um, and let's go ahead and get into some of the replays. All right, so as with this base, uh, fairly, I would say, anti three star design. And you just come in on the corners, four witches with the two healers on each side. Uh, then you drop the clan castle, followed by the two witches, then the archer queen. Uh, then you're going to come in with your wall breakers. Um, and this is the two jump version, guys. Uh, so you're going to deploy that first jump, uh, then drop the bowlers, then your king. Always want to drop your king last so he doesn't run ahead of the army and get targeted by the expos. Use that raid spell somewhat shallow, allowing your troops and bowlers to flow into the core of the base. Um, and then from there, as they enter the core, you're going to deploy that heal spell, charge them right back up. Um, and then use that second jump spell to exit out of the core and access the second expo. So again, as you flow through the base, um, you're just going to have the benefit of the healers and the witches on the side. Uh, successful witch slap is going to normally allow your witches to flank while your main kill squad goes through the center of the, uh, of the base um, and takes out the, the main defenses there. Uh, so as you'll see, by the end of the attack, uh, they basically just flow um, every now and then you know the army might clump to the one side or the other um, but as long as you have healers up and a group of witches uh, it's usually enough to overpower whatever would be left up even if you do end up losing a, a hero or two all right so this was the two jump version and of course that's how we do it three stars for the legion all right so let's go ahead and get into a, another example All right, so uh, with this one, uh, this again is a, another example of the two jump version. I probably would also say if your heroes are on the lower end, uh, the two raid version might be a little bit better because having that extra spell uh, does give you a little bit of an edge uh, if you have weaker heroes. Um, so as you see, you always want to start off with this deployment with those witches, guys. Uh, get those down with the healers. Uh, then once that's down on the sides, then you're going to bring in uh, the CC. Uh, excuse me, the, the golem, followed by your queen, break in with your wall breakers, then drop your bowlers, then the king, uh, then you're going to bring your rage spell, jump, um, and then of course heal as you enter into that the core. Um, you don't want to drop the, the rage and the heal right on top of each other. You almost want to slightly overlap, kind of leapfrog, um, and then of course use that second jump to make sure you can access the other expo. So with the healers they'll usually again keep the witches as they flow on the sides of the bases while the kill squad goes through the core and takes out you know the expos on um, the heavier defenses and you sit back and collect the three star uh, it's one of those attacks where because of the the bowlers being so strong and so powerful uh, at town hall nine it just allows you to really take out a lot of the the strength of the base and the the center while having those healers Folk, uh, having those witches kept up by the healers um, there's what four witches on each side so it's definitely you know enough firepower uh, to be able to be sustained and move across the base as a wave of destruction meeting up usually at the end um, and like I said even if your heroes end up dying um, you end up still being able to take out the base because by the time everything does go down uh, the expos are down all the the, the made core uh, the, the base is gutted um, so having a few witches up with healers, um, it just still overpowers the base. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the next example. And I believe this is another two jump example. Um, with this one, you're gonna come in, which is on each side, of course, uh, followed by your golem. Um, Witches, Archer Queen, get your wall breakers down. Jump, CC Bowlers, King, then Rage. Get those bowlers flowing into the center of the base. Heal spell, slightly overlapping, not much, 
but flowing the troops into the core. Of course, jump spell to access the second expo. And that's that's murder she wrote, guys. Again, um, this uh, tutorial is a little bit long time in coming, but as you guys know, um, I like to. I, I've been a Laloon guy for so 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 long. So even when it comes to the three star videos and guides that I've been putting out, you know, I've been trying to at least fill out the catalog because I know there's a lot of you guys that watch this channel for the knowledge to be able to help become a better attacker. So I just want to make it as complete as possible because uh, I know not everybody uses air, not everybody uses Lalo, even though it's extremely strong and you're probably not doing yourself any favors by not learning Lalo. Um, I can definitely understand everybody plays the game in a different way and we all enjoy it for different reasons. So for those of you that like ground, this is definitely a very solid attack. All right, so here we've got another two jump version. Uh, for some reason, let me check. I might have to. Um, thought I'd posted all the replays, but in all events, um, we're still gonna go through it. Of course, like I said, you'll want to make sure you always start with your deployment, getting your witches down on each side. Um, afterwards, you're gonna bring in your golem, followed by the witches, the last two witches, anyways. Uh, couple, the uh, wizard, archer queen, wall breakers, CC bowlers, king, jump, and then you're gonna rage into the first layer of the base. Make sure that you drop the poison spells accordingly. Uh, of course, with a couple of these versions, I did end up bringing two poison spells instead of the skelly spell. Um, but it is, from what I've noticed, uh, depending on if you're aware of the CC or not. Um, I know typically the having the spell, skeleton spell does actually make a huge difference. Um, every now and then, if the army does slow down, um, you're just not able to get a, an even flow of the... The troops across the base having that skeleton spell really makes a difference because you can uh, basically distract an expo or distract something that's chewing away at the army whether maybe your queen flanked off on unprotected on one side uh, sometimes that happens uh, it'll be weird because the bulk of the troops will go one way and the queen all of a sudden's like you know what i'm taking a stroll i'm uh, trying to get some some dick tonight but in any event um you know very strong attack guys uh, definitely want to make sure you practice this make sure you learn it because um, it's one of those attacks that it's good to have in the bag of tricks all right so let me see what we've got I was on Subrata let me see which version this is all right, this is another two jump version let me um see I should have another one where it was just uh, a one jump version. We'll go ahead and show that next after this one. But again, as you guys can see, uh, the heroes also make um, a, a quite a bit of difference um, in this attack, and, it, and it's very important. Uh, a lot of people kind of neglect their heroes, and I hate uh, going on and on and on about high heroes, but it's part of the game, guys. If you're serious about being a, a good attacker, um, and you want to be, you know, the best possible player of the game, uh, you can't neglect those those heroes, guys. Alright, so as you can see, uh, even if the, the main kill squad does kind of wind down, having a, a few healers up with a couple witches is enough to overpower the base, even if, you know, your heroes die, so very, very strong attack. All right, so I think the last attack I'm gonna show you guys will at least be uh, one of the one jump version uh, for those of you who have lower heroes. Um, is this a one jump? No, this is a two jump. Um, I'll zip through this one, um, but I will show you a one jump version next, um, and then we'll call it a video. Um, but again, the bases that you're generally looking for uh, you don't want to have a, a base that's super, super spread out, and you also don't want to have a base that is extremely compact. Um, the strength of this attack lies in the witches going down the flanks with those healers, so if you can't get an even progression, um, it, it really makes things uh, sometimes come out with just weird results. Uh, you'd be like, I, I deployed it the same way, um, I don't know why the army did that. but 
that's why it's all about base identification um, and being the best attacker is all about you know looking at what the base gives you taking advantage of those weaknesses uh, so that way you can use the best tool for the job now I will say in terms of uh, an any base attack um, I while I love this attack it's extremely strong I, I don't I, I can't necessarily put this in the category of an any base attack. Um, you know, maybe it just, I don't know, I'm not going to say I suck at it, because uh, obviously these are all three stars, um, but um, I have found uh, some other attacks to, to be a little bit more consistent in their hit rate. Um, but that's not taking away from the strength um, or the quality of this attack, um, and you'll see with the one jump version, uh, you can actually get a lot more value out of that extra spell slot. Um, of course, you bring in your healers, witches on the flanks. Uh, then you're going to bring in your golem, followed by the, the witches. Uh, then you're going to bring in the archer queen, and then you're going to wall break. Now, the cool thing about the five wall breakers is that by having that second raid spell, uh, you can actually do some creative breaking into the base, um, so you don't necessarily need to have that second jump spell. Um, having those wall breakers break in, um, it, it actually is worth its weight in gold, because for, you know, four extra four cam space uh, you can get into that second layer of the base uh, so with that all being said uh, with the second rage you're going to use that either over the core or to break out of the core depending on how the base was laid out um, and then you really just wreck phase because you know having those strong healers excuse me strong heroes followed by the healers keeping the either the witches up every now and then the, the healers will redirect they'll end up on your queen or your heroes uh, golem um, which isn't always a bad thing. You know, having a perpetual tank for the raid or whatever the case is uh, can always help because uh, with the strength of the army, it definitely all adds up together. All right, so with all that being said, guys, um, really do want you guys to, to, to slow this bit video down. If you need to pause it, rewind it, go back, course i'm always going to print the raid objectives in the description of the video that way you guys can always see it uh, you can always go back read it whatever you need to do uh, so that way you can you know learn and, and put this into uh, the knowledge bank um, but with that being said guys of course always appreciate you guys watching trizzle tuning out